city and town, they usually, usually those those teachers, you know, they didn't wear a suit per se, but they would have. I I don't know that they wore overhauls though either, but a yeah. lot of the boys wore overhauls to school. Yeah. And so a dress code per se, I would say was there wasn't. Just if you had something warm to put on, I guess. Yeah. You know, to be clothed. Uh huh. Yeah. And clean. That was another thing. When we get home from school, we had to slip out of our school clothes and put on older clothes to wear because we had to wear that same dress the next day. The next day, yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. I only had. I, I only remember two dresses, but I suppose I might have had three, but no more than that. Yeah. Dresses. No. Yeah. No. What else did you do for sun ex beside, I mean, for fun except for softball? Well, uh, if, if a, a bunch of us would get together, uh, usually that's what happened there would be more than our own family at home yeah and um, oh we might oh there was there was some games that we played and I we they played an awful lot of hide hide and go seek yeah yeah and uh, we even done that in school in town school though too we played hide and seek yeah and um, pum pum pull away, I think was one they called. Yeah. And well, I can't, I can't just can't think of others. Well, we always had a, a slide and a swing on the school grounds, so sometimes we'd swing and yeah, we didn't have to play with anybody. We could be by ourselves that way. Yeah. Yeah. What, like, yeah. how often did you, after school or anything after that, how often did you go to go to town? We, we had, the only time we ever went to town is if we had to take the produce into the co-op and, and maybe get groceries. It, a whole week would go by and we would never get to go to town. Yeah. But we did once. If we got to do it, would be uh, no more than once a week. For church, but yeah. They had, and then there was no refrigeration, so you couldn't. Mom had to bake the bread because yeah. there was because everything had to be homemade, you know. Mm hmm Yeah. And a lot of people used their cistern, like for coolers, and. If you had a bucket that you could put down into a cistern, it was cooler there than it was in the house. Mm -hmm. And so, and and they had it rigged so that you could use a cistern kind of for a cooler for your milk. Yeah. So it, it wouldn't sour. Yeah. Yeah. What was special, for say, about... Holidays or Sundays? What was special? Well, like I say, it was a time that we got to go away from home and be with other kids. Mm -hmm. So going to church and Sunday school was number one. Yeah. And on Sundays and and Saturday, that was that was something. So uh, everybody had to have their bath on Saturday night. And, and yeah. to heat enough water to, to bathe the family. Yeah. Because we, we were seven people out there on the farm. Yeah. Five girls and our parents, and but they had to heat all the water on the cook stove. Mm -hmm. So that old stove had to, it did have a, what they call a reservoir. And it, that would be a, a, a something attached to a stove so that, you would fill with water, yeah, and it could get really that could get real hot. Well, then you could dilute it with uh, water from the well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
to make it cool it off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you didn't get no, no, we had wash tubs for our, uh, the wash tub that mom washed the clothes and rinsed the clothes in, that was our bathtub. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't have such a thing as a bathtub. Yeah. Yeah. What did you do, do during holidays? Oh, well, holidays were always, well, I don't remember so much on the farm about holidays, but after we come to town, why, uh, on Christmas Eve, we always went to church. That was when the Christmas program was at church. Yeah. And and when we'd come home, why, Santa Claus would have been there. Yeah. And... If it was snowing, why, oh, there was tracks. We knew Santa Claus had been there, and, <laughs> oh, we'd get all excited because then, then our Christmas was that night. Yeah. After we'd get home from church. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And the Christmas sacks they put out, you, they would either put an apple or an orange in our Christmas sack at church. Yeah. And that was a big, big treat to get an apple or an orange. Yeah. Yeah. Something sweet to eat or snack on. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And well, peanuts in the shell. Yeah. And you had to shell your peanuts, but we thought that was neat. We could shell them, you know, <laughs> break the, the peanut open and get your peanut out of there. Yeah. Yeah. What'd you, what'd you have during... Thanksgiving, like, would you have turkey, or what would you have? Well, I don't ever remember having turkey. If we went to my grandpa and grandma over by Wilcox, she would have a duck. Duck? Duck. (laughs) And I almost seemed like she had a goose. Geese sometimes. <laughs> it'd be a, a big old and 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 the goose is real greasy. Greasy. And I I just didn't like that old goose. I tell you, but if yeah. that's what we were served. We ate it. Yeah. Yeah. And and uh, Easter time, oh, Grandma would cook. Oh, I bet she'd cook at least three dozen eggs if she cooked one. <laughs> and if you wanted them soft, they'd be soft. And if you wanted them hard, they would be hard. Yeah. But somebody had to kind of watch them because on a wood burning stove, what, to keep them a, a cooking wasn't always a, an easy treat. Yeah. 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 Were you? Yeah, well, at Christmas time at my grandparents, oh my, she they always brought a tree in from out in the pasture. Yeah. We went to the pasture to cut the Christmas tree. Mm-hmm. And uh, she had candles on the tree. Yeah. And for lights. Oh, really? That, that would have been my grandpa and grandma over yeah. Bartels. That would have been my mom. That would have been my mom's parents. Jeez. And, and I don't I never, ever knew my grandpa or grandma Custer. Grandma Custer. Because mm-hmm, uh, uh, back in those days, they had to make their own wax to wax the floors. Yeah. And, and they had to use some kind of kerosene or something in the gas or something in that wax. Anyway... It caught fire, and my grandma was burnt real, real bad. And hmm. she had diabetes, and, and then her, her, she just never healed. Yeah. So my, the grandpa died, I think he died first. Yeah, yeah Grandpa Custer died first. Mm-hmm. Then, and then grandma was left with that family of eight children to raise by herself. Yeah. And and they lived out south of Upland where there's nobody living there now but Albers and you wouldn't remember them either. 
you you know where Willis Lammers lived out there on the farm where Grandpa Steve farms? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Okay, it would have been one mile west of that corner. Yeah. That's where my grandma lived with those eight children. Mm-hmm. And the oldest boy was 16 when the father died. Really? And, and um, so the boys had had to go to work. They didn't get to go to school. They had to they had to work. Yeah. And, uh, oh, they made uh, when they they got to go to the eighth grade, but you only went to school in the winter time. You didn't get to go to school when school started. Really? So a lot of kids only only went to school just in the winter time. Yeah. 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 Were you around during the Great Depression? And if so, could you maybe describe some things you would recall about it? Well, I I didn't I I was small enough in in those years. I just know what they talked about, how bad it was in the Depression. Yeah. You know, because, oh, I think uh, uh, eggs were like, I want to see, say, eight or ten cents a dozen uh, yeah. eggs. And it, it, well, if, if you had a nickel, yeah. my God, you, you were rich, I, I swear. Yeah. Yeah. When and when grand your grand my your great grandpa yeah. it would then Grandpa Vernon's family when they lived out there on the farm. Now that wouldn't be when I was going to school, but when he went to school, why those those kids they they didn't go to school all the school year. And then a lot of them, when they got through the eighth grade, that was it. No more school after that. Yeah. They were needed out there to help do the farm work. Yeah. And that's why Grandpa Free, your, your Grandpa Vernon, yeah. that's why he only got to go through the eighth grade. Mm-hmm. Because he had the chance, he had the privilege, he could have went to high school, but if, but if he didn't go to high school, he'd have to go back through the eighth grade again. Yeah. So he chose to go to country school and go to the eighth grade the second time. Mm-hmm. And then his dad got real, real sick. Yeah. And, um, and, Grandpa, and Grandpa Vernon, he, he stayed home and to do the farming mm-hmm. in the eighth grade. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, so... And, and he was just tickled to death to get up and go out and milk cows and, yeah. and do the farm work and so he didn't have to go to school. Yeah. 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 Do you remember... And, and, Oops, sorry, go ahead, go ahead. Remember what? No, go ahead, go what you are going to say. Well, I was just going to just gonna say, back then, the, the whole neighborhood was kind of in the same boat, because Willis Lammers didn't have a, uh, well, I guess he had his dad, He but he lost his mother, Yeah. and then, then his dad remarried, so then they had a a stepmother, but, uh-huh. but, uh, but they, they didn't even, they didn't have such thing as cars much, Yeah. oh, Model A, and, yeah. oh my goodness, get us in that old car, I can remember, remember going down to Spring Valley, and I can't remember what the heck the car was now. But it was only, I know, only a two-seated car, and mm-hmm. and we'd all pile in that one one little car. Yeah. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Good God, I, I tell you, we must have been packed like sardines. I'm not sure. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so back then there was kids that did get to go to high school. Yeah. Like, well, uh, Vernon's mother, 